Welcome to Cindy E. Eats. I'm Cindy. Hey. Amen, amen, amen. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe before you leave. What is all of this? Publix. Let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, let me explain. Let me get it all out today. So early this morning, getting myself ready for work. What do I decide to do? I decide to watch MRTV. And what do they got? Some homemade fried chicken and a salad. Very simple, lovely looking salad. I said, you know what you eating for dinner tonight? Chicken and salad. Been waiting all day. Had to go to my daughter's house first. You know, she got her kids. Yeah. I expect that. Plus, my other granddaughter, her niece. But what I wasn't expecting to be out that long. Because I picked up my chicken. I picked up my salad, the cheese, the tomato. All of it. But I didn't get back to my side of the city until almost 7 o'clock. It's now 7.08. So I decided to hit the Publix and get the fried chicken. They ain't had no salad bar out. So, I got me some soup. What kind of soup? I got clam chowder. With a little uh, broccoli and cheese. So I put some broccoli and cheese in my clam chowder. I don't know if y'all just heard that or not, but the stomach is ready. You hear me? The stomach is ready. Can you see that? Probably not. You can't see it at all. Let me mix this up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the right thing to do. I said, I'm going to try this in my, in my soup. What is this? Cheese. Just a couple. I got me some oyster crackers. That's why they say don't shop while you're hungry. Stuff like this happens. And I'm trying something a little different. Tabasco. I'm putting it back in the box. Now that I had the green Tabasco before. I like that one. I've had this before. But I don't know if I like it now. And it was a small bottle. Less than two bucks. I'm gonna put a dab or two on that. I'm gonna try some on the chicken. Public sale drinks. Fruit punch. I see fruit punch. Okay. We almost together, people. We almost together. What's that? What's that in front of oh, a bag? Cause sis wanna get in the thumbnail, okay? And what else I get? I know these are the hard, but I wanted them. 
I got me a few Nashville hot shrimp. Set those up there. And they brought these out fresh while I was standing there. A Nashville hot chicken tender. Let's see. This has been five minutes, y'all. My bad. Let's take another thumbnail. Okay. I hope somebody's still here watching. That y'all all ain't leaving me. How is they almost the same size? Hmm. How? Let me just tell you how I ended up at Publix anyway. Because I went and got my chicken, my salad. I realized I ain't had a flour because Maria made a big emphasis on letting the flour sit on the chicken, okay? So I had to go get some flour and it turned into this. Mm -hmm. mm, that was a snort. I like these cheeses in here. I was feeling like the cowboy mixing this up in the Publix. Because you know he mixed stuff together. I ain't trying to get nothing on my tail. I already did. How y'all doing today? Praying all is well with y'all. I ain't gonna complain. I can't complain. What am I complaining for? Cause it don't change a thing. Mm. This is good. Mm. I did it again. See y'all, this is why I don't wear my good clothes on this camera like this. That's why I don't wear my good clothes on this camera. And I'm usually in tank tops. Mm. This is good. If you like clam chowder, try it. With this. And a little this. Let's try it on a piece of chicken.
I'm not gonna chicken. It's alright. This is gonna be my first choice now. I think I would like it better with the honey. Like this better with the honey and chicken. But I ain't in the mood for that right now. Let's taste this. They call they old, but not as old as I was expecting them to be, okay? That Nashville hot got a little sweetness to it. Oh, I'm oh, good. Did I tell y'all I had an interview? I had an interview this past Friday. Go ahead. Fifth or sixth, something like that. Andrew with the hospital. For a position to um it's customer service, but I never thought this position was customer service. My brother was, you know, involving service. <clears throat> you know, people that greet you when you come to the doctor. I always thought they was uh, nurses or CNAs. I never thought them to be like just clerical workers type. But essentially that's what it is. Clerical work. If hired. Hmm. Sis eating hard. I just bit my tongue. If hired, I would be um doing that for the um oncology department. So essentially people who come to get cancer treatments, people who are getting uh what they call that stuff? I had one. Uh iron infusions. I got the time. That's essentially what I really want to get into. Is doing that. Because once we get involved in medical, 
can y'all hear that shout? Why don't you get involved in the medical field? You can go in and everywhere with it, you know what I'm saying? Change departments. Not just the hospital. Private practice. Specialties. You know what I mean? what I want to do. I want to pro provide service in a more personal way. I'm going to try a little bit of this honey on this. <clears throat> a little Tabasco. A little honey. See how that tastes. A1. When I went to the interview, my job, they called me while I was at work. She left a message. <clears throat> I called her on my lunch. Set up that interview. Now, mind you, I didn't tell my job what I was going to do. I was only gone for an hour and a half, and it would have been less than that, but when I got there, the lady that was interviewing me was interviewing somebody else while I was waiting a lady showed up for, for to be interviewed she once she was done with that Call her breath, you might as well say. She brought me to the back. You know. She told me to bring three copies of my interview. I mean my uh, resume. So I was expecting at least three people. But it turned out to be five people. And not only that, y'all remember um, when I told y'all before I found this job, I had walked into, I had went to a job fair in Winston Salem. I actually did a video while I was there, eating uh, was still fresh and hot, y'all. Eating um, hmm. J and J Food Mart chicken. I went to a job. I mean, not job, but an interview. I mean, not interview. Job fair for the hospital because it's a big conglomerate in quite a few cities and major cities. In North Carolina, and one of the um, when I was there, I gave my in, my resume to this dude, this man. Asked me questions, took the paper, you know. Knew were very blase about it, very laid back about it. So I knew he wasn't going, you know, call me back.
part of the job fair, you had to register your um, resume and stuff online for them. So that's why the lady called me back <clears throat> from the job fair. I get in there. I told y'all it's five people in there. How about he in there too, the blase dude? He recognized me, y'all. He recognized me. He ain't say nothing, but you know when somebody you know when somebody recognize you, the expression on their face. He recognized me. He probably would have jumped out of his skin if I would have took my coat off, but I didn't take my coat off, y'all, because I had to sit in by the door, the entrance of the building. On like the coldest day that week. Like literally it was 30 degrees and we were sitting by the door. I'm so glad I had my coat on. I ain't even take it off. Buttoned up. Zipped up. That's how cold it was. The lady that came to interview too. Why well, she didn't have on nothing but a dress and some stockings. And not the thick stockings. Cold. I can't lie. I don't know if I was disappointed, if my feelings were hurt. I don't necessarily know how I was feeling. But you know, I was very optimistic going in. Yet I'm putting, realizing that I'm interviewing the same time other people interviewing. And it was like, a little downheartening, whatever it is called. But I still went in there. And he called Riz, Riz them up to the best of my abilities at that time. And I left it in the Lord's hands, okay? That was last Friday, this past Friday. So this coming tomorrow's Friday. I'm gonna be honest, I ain't even really checked. I think I checked like earlier this week. Oh. Let's see if um they sent anything. But they haven't. I'm gonna check when I leave. When I get up. I'm lying. I probably won't. I'm gonna spend a little time with God. That's right there. I'm gonna put this chair up and put it over there. Read my Bible. Pray a little bit. I'm going out, I'm gonna take off these clothes and go to bed. Okay. Cause this is sleeping. I pushed it this morning. Pushed it. Cause I live ten minutes away. Pushed it. I ain't even go outside the room out my car until like seven. Just that. You didn't see that? I ain't gonna want my car to like 740. I live 10 minutes away. Like, you know, put up in a parking lot 10 minutes away. Not pull up in a parking lot without my car, walk to the door, get to my desk 10 minutes away. <laughs> Pushing it. But she got there on time. I did. I should have did. I'm 
guess it's gonna end this video. I don't think I'm gonna actually put this out tonight. I am. It's 7.32, I'm gonna put this out tonight. Thursday, January 11th. I just feel the urge to the need to. I believe I'm going to post a video tomorrow. Don't hold me to it, but I believe I'm going to post one tomorrow. With my cowboy and Maria meal. I'm going to let that flower sit on that chicken for 15 minutes, like she said. I even might go get eliminated. Like my real. Or mix something together like cowboy. He mixed together. Orange soda. I'm lying. Yeah, I'm lying. That was a video before that. Happy's pizza. He mixed together orange soda and grape soda. Well, he said that was better than the food they ate. <laughs> this video long. But this is for the real ones. My aunties, my OGs, my cousins, my brothers, my sisters, my peoples, okay? I feel like you need an extra dose of Cindy this week. I ate all this soup. Well, all them crackers. And I ate some pieces of chicken. I ate a lot of food. I'm not going to sleep right now. I ain't even read what I wanted to read. I'm going to save it for tomorrow's video because I'm going to make a video tomorrow. So let me go ahead and leave you with my three things to let you know that God loves you. So do I. And all of this is for your viewing pleasure. Good night, people. See you tomorrow. Let me move this table too, y'all. See you tomorrow.